All right, as always, you can go to YouTube channel My Medical Nightmare and see 40 plus hours video on everything that happened to me. This news item is from Fox 59, WXIN television station out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Nurses fed up with Ascension healthcare security breach issues. The channel news organization spoke with a nurse, 13 years working experience, who is employed Ascension St. Vincent Hospital in Indianapolis. And due to complications stemming from the cyber attack that occurred on May 8, 2024, this nurse had to resign. He walked away from the job. He also described conditions and situation in the hospital as, quote, pure chaos, unquote. Major delays in services such as getting x-rays, CTs, MRIs, handwritten orders, and this nurse claims there are a lot of mistakes. He says he caught many errors. Orders are popping up several days after they were issued that many other nurses in the hospital have left. They have quit their job working for Ascension St. Vincent Hospital. He said his bosses asked him to fill in some of the staffing gaps in a unit where he had no experience or training. And that's when he decided, along with another nurse, that it was not worth the risk to patients, nor worth risking their, their medical licenses and professional career. The nurse said he wanted to warn patients that are coming in to any of the Ascension facilities that there will be delays in care and potential for error and harm. This nurse estimates it could take three to six months for things to get back to normal in the hospital. All right, and you want to see what happens as a patient when Ascension St. Vincent screws up the patients, catch the errors, and try to go back to the hospital and medical staff to get these uh, corrected. Please listen to my 60, that's six zero plus hours video documentation. And you can hear all the excuses in recorded telephone calls that are in the videos, plus see the records that I obtained and scanned in. And this was some years prior to this latest cyber attack. Ascension and St. Vincent's, they're a bad business, rife with corruption. They do business in the wrong way. And it's all about making money. You can see in another video that I did, the system that many doctors and nurses working today are involved with this is called Just In Time, and it deals with maximizing profits. You're a millionaire doctor. You want to get as many patients into your work day as possible. This is at the expense of spending quality time with patients and learning about their health condition and offering proper services. I did another video you can go look at in a urgent care in a moderate-sized American city. They brag about a gravy train of 100 patients in a 12-hour shift, $175 a pop. All right, that's in an urgent care. What happened in the Ascension hospitals and facilities, they have a just-in-time system in place. And the cyber attack came through, put a serious crimp in their money-making scheme. The doctors put pressure on the nurses in the best of times to abide by safety standards and protocols. This comes along and takes money away from big shot narcissistic doctors and they put all the blame and work on the underlings. All right. So you're talking about nurses and non-licensed staff are ordered to do things they are not qualified to do. In my own experience dealing with Ascension, Ascension is a U.S. health provider operating in 19 states with 140 hospitals, 160,000 associates, and 36,000 affiliated providers. I tried to bring the details of my own situation to Ascension CEO Joseph Impichike in 2021, and my phone call was never returned. You've reached the Ascension system office, General Manager.
mail box. After the tone, leave a detailed message and someone will respond to your call. Thank you. I'm trying to reach uh, CEO Joseph and Peachy K, and uh, he can contact me at that number. And I have a message uh, that I would like to give uh, to Ascension. Between 2018 and 2019, I was an emergency department patient at Ascension St. Vincent's East Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. I believe I had broken my neck. I had an x-ray, two CT scans, and later an MRI looked at by Ascension St. Vincent's uh, doctors. Each time they had told me I had no injuries in this area, I knew their diagnosis was an error as my condition worsened. The area became infected and infested with parasites. By summer 2019, I almost died. I obtained my medical records from your hospital along with the x-ray, CT, MRI imagery and discovered the truth of my injury. I had broken bone in the underside of my skull in the area of the condylar canal and occipital condyle. How the doctors could have missed such a large and serious injury over multiple hospital visits is inexcusable. I believe some element of organized corruption may exist in this hospital. I have compiled over 10 hours of video documentation on what happened to me on my YouTube channel. And the name of the channel is My Medical Nightmare. I believe I may have been a victim of patient dumping uh, in the course of my seeking treatment, which is a violation of EMTALA, E-M-T-A-L-A. When I told medical staff associated with Ascension about my discovery uh, that I had been misdiagnosed repeatedly, I was personally attacked and my psychological state was challenged. And this is reflected in medical records I obtained later. I could not obtain proper treatment or Diagnosis for this injury uh, because doctors and nurses uh, that I would subsequently uh, have encounters with would only entertain what the erroneous Ascension uh, ER findings were. My mother, who was a nurse for 20 years, had the misfortune of working in an Ascension hospital when I questioned my MRI findings involving St. Vincent's Ambulatory Healthcare Network LLC and Dr. Michael Brant Ruff, MD, uh, radiologist. In March 2019, my mother, who was a nurse for 20 years and worked in the Ascension Hospital, she was terminated from her job there around the same time. And uh, so this phone call, I challenge uh, the misdiagnosis of Ascension St. Vincent's East Hospital, Birmingham, Alabama, and, uh, and I challenge the policy of this hospital. And uh, Mr. Apichi uh, I think you need to look into this, please. Uh, please listen to my message, look into what I'm saying, and you're free to contact me. Thank you.